Alright, welcome to this third video of the unboxing of the Seagate Home Theater Plus HD Media Player. As you can see, I have the media player here connected to a USB drive, and then there's a network cable connected at the back. Right there, there's a network cable, and then the HDMI and the power cord. Alright, uh, with this, we're gonna turn this on and this and it's turning on right now checking for the HDMI signal all right there we go this is a uh, latest firmware that was updated recently and with the latest firmware you can see you have the the browser on the top and then you got the internet browsing uh, screens at the bottom with YouTube and that's uh, that's Mediafly, ViewTuner, Picasa, Flickr, Video Feeds and so on. And then at the bottom here you got the browsers for the network. Uh, let me get that really quick. That's with the USB connectivity and then the network media servers and so on this will take you to the main screen all right in order to check the uh, the firmware go ahead and press on the menu button right here screen little button menu and this pops up a menu on the top and then you browse all the way to the settings right there and you have this version information okay the original version that came with this device was 1.2 i checked on the internet on the seagate website and it said to upgrade to 1.5 before updating it to 2.20 so that's what i did i upgraded it to 1.5 and then 2.20 easily upgradable using this usb flash drive now um i, I did notice something that on the version 1.2 uh, it was uh, a little um, shaggy using the uh, internet access so I had to upgrade to 1.5 and then 2.2 and everything on the internet works flawlessly as you can see you got the uh, since it's connected to the local internet I'm gonna select the IP address and there you go it's connected locally to with an IP address of 10.0.0.8 wireless is not available so there we go I did register it for DivX and that's the registration code and what else okay it's got the free agent go LED it's got the Seagate logo as well which is good for a screensaver and you can even have a slideshow option there you go you got Seagate logo and the slideshow which is good I believe that's the firmware that lets you do this alright let's go back and then you got the factory defaults and then the menu language and then it keeps scrolling. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, browse some of the media off of the internet. 